Hi. <laughs> Do you know what I love about this makeup? Which I love everything about this makeup. It's so versatile and you can wear it like so many different ways. So I'm just gonna do like a little quick, like not full blown highlighting and contouring. Um, some days call for that, most days, most of my days call for that, um, but not today. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of coverage and some bronzer. I filled in my eyebrows. I have already put on my Too Faced Hangover Primer. I absolutely love this stuff. It works great with this makeup. And I'm just doing a light layer of Vanilla Dust Setting Powder because that has worked really well. Now that it's hot, I feel like it's always hot where I live, but um, it also helps my makeup to last. And then if you get a little bit shiny, like it kind of um, just is already there to absorb some of the oils. So I'm taking my main or my darker highlight color, which is Mango. And I'm just kind of like putting it where I've got some redness. Um, I have large pores in this area. And I'm just literally just kind of stippling it on. Right here in the center because this is where I need most of my coverage. Also, you can see that my eyes are very red. Um, sometimes they are, sometimes they're not. I'm going to, I swap to the blend brush. I'm just going to put a little bit of that mango there because dark covers dark. Um, if I would put something super light there, it would turn pink or cakey because light colors cannot cover dark skin issues. My speaker just told me to charge. I didn't know what that was. That scared me. Um, so yeah, that's that. Going right back to the 3D brush. Going to tap in amber. Put a little bit down here, like literally really quick, easy summertime makeup. And I'm gonna put some on the forehead. I can't go really light up here because I have texture. <laughs> and if you're wearing this makeup and you feel like your texture has been enhanced, that means your color is too light. And also you may need to shade a little bit darker in the summertime just because we're in the sun, we get a tan. So if you feel that your texture has been enhanced or looks like it's enhanced, and when I say texture enhanced, I'm talking about like your fine lines and wrinkles. If you have large pores, um, anything like that. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit of brightness here because I can't go too bright because you know, Things start showing up more. <laughs> and then I always like to run my brightest color like down my nose just a little bit, even if I'm not going to contour. All right, so that is pretty much my coverage. I don't have anything here or where I would normally contour because I'm literally just gonna do some bronzer today. So I kind of just put a little bit of my foundation colors just to kind of even out some of the skin. Um, can't really see. Like some of my um, like issues, like my redness around my eyes, I have redness around my nose, my large pores, just to give me a little bit of coverage there. And then I'm gonna go with my bronzer. Y'all know that I do, this is Bella, this is Muse, and this is Icon. This is my little combination that I have come up with that I love. And I'm just going to put it up here. Give me like a little sun-kissed look. I always bronze because I feel like that is like the little finishing, finalizing. It just really makes, it warms up my skin. It makes me feel like I've gotten some sun. Um, I can't really be in the sun that much due to a medicine that I take. So that is why I self-tan. And like you can see, this is just warming up my skin. I'm not contouring today. I'm literally just putting some bronzer and I'm not really being like super accurate with it. Like it doesn't matter because it's creams and it's all gonna blend. And then I always love to bring Bella bronzer down my neck just because I self tan and sometimes I don't, I don't really bring my self tanner up. And then if you tan, like if you're in the sun, 
this part of right here like never tans. There's no way you could lay. <laughs> and if you do, you're probably gonna get burnt <laughs> because our chin always like shadows this part. So like I'm good with this. Like just a little quick, like five minutes, my foundation is done. All right, let's do something super, super simple with eyeshadow, like two colors. Does that sound good? Sounds good to me, two colors. So I'm probably gonna do, is this basic? I moved my eyeshadows yesterday. Bird, my bad. I'm just going to put the tiniest bit here. We're gonna blend that out because this is all that I'm putting on here. Place in that color. And then I'm gonna blend it. Bring it underneath, give me a little bit of a lined eye. Swap to my blend, my blend, my eyeshadow brush, which is super fluffy on the end. And I'm just going to blend it, dip it into a little bit of vanilla dust translucent powder. If you have trouble blending, it always helps to kind of just smooth that out. So that gives me just a little bit. I have deep set hooded eyes, so I just need something up there to kind of shape my eye. Let's add a little bit more on this side. And if you have deep set hooded eyes, the smudge brush, that is the brush. It is amazing because you can place your color and then go back in and just blend. All right, and now I'm gonna take a little bit of cupcake. I've had this brush like y'all. I don't even want to tell you how long. If you can see, I've worn the paint <laughs> Oh my goodness. It's just like one of those things, like I love these brushes, but like I can't get rid of this one. Like it's my go-to. All right, and then I'm just gonna kind of smooth this across my lid, because when I tell you, I'm literally going for minimal today. All right, let me do some mascara and I'll hop back on to show you the finished look. Okay, so. <laughs> Simple, right? Like not all days you have to go full glam. Not all days you have to highlight contour, blah, 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 blah. Um, I love Bella Bronzer, but I also love the combination which is um, Icon, Bella, and Muse. Um, Icon is gorgeous. Like it is so pretty on like so many different skin tones. I love to use it as a blush. So you can see that I've still got dimension. I'm not just like one color all over the face, but I literally did like the fastest makeup routine ever. Two colors on the eyeshadow, filled in my brows, popped on some mascara, and that's all it is. So if you're interested or if you want to get color matched, if you've been color matched and you want to try my little bronzer combo, um, I highly, highly, highly recommend it because it just gives such a good glow and it's summertime. And we all want that sun-kissed look. So if you have any questions or if you need anything, just message me and I will be more than happy to help you get started or to answer any questions about this makeup.